Hey everyone, Matt Karst here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how Rainbow treats ash trees for Emerald Ash Borer using our Q-Connect system and our 4% MMectin Benzoate Formulation Mectinite. So when the technician first arrives on the property, what they're going to do is take the diameter of the tree. This will let them know how many injection sites they'll need and how much product they'll need to put into the tree to adequately protect it from Emerald Ash Borer. In this example, we're going to use an ash tree that is 12 inches in diameter. So how they figure this is 12 inches divided by 2 will give you 6, and so they will need 6 injection sites for this tree. And then, depending on pest pressure and some other factors, will determine the dosage based on the product label. Once the technician has the diameter of the tree and the amount of injection sites and the proper dosing, they will begin drilling into the tree. Our technicians use a 15 64 inch high helix drill bit. This allows them to drill into the tree without cauterizing and sealing up any of the vascular tissue to optimize product uptake up into the tree. They're going to drill these injection sites three quarters of an inch to one inch past the bark, ensuring that they get into the vascular tissue, which will then allow the tree to take up the product and distribute it throughout the canopy. Once the technician has inserted all the T's into the tree, they will finish connecting the system all together and then dose the product to the correct amount and put that into the main bottle. They will then tighten the bottle and attach the bike pump to pressurize the system. Once the system is fully set up, you should see something that looks along the lines of this. Uh, you have the whole system going around the tree and then connecting up to the main bottle. The technician will then open the valve on the back T of the tree as the technician begins to pressurize the system, you will see the product go through and start circulating through the tubing. The technician will then begin pressurizing the entire system, usually to about 15 to 25 psi, so not a very heavy pressure. Usually we want the tree to take most of the product up on its own and not force it in. Uh, that can cause bark splitting and other issues like that. Once they have pressurized the system to the correct PSI, uh, the technician will then open up all the rest of the valves to allow the product to go up into the tree. Uptake for the tree can vary depending on weather conditions and how large the tree is and if it has a restricted root zone or anything like that, but on average it usually takes about 10 minutes. Um, most technicians will be on the site for under 20 minutes. As the tree starts to take up the last bit of product, the technician will go through and shut off individual valves to ensure that pressure is redistributed to get the product into the remaining holes. Once the tree has taken up all the product and all the valves are shut, the technician will remove the T's and we'll move on to the next one. Since our system does not use plugs, uh, it can be hard to determine if the technician has showed up on your property or not. Uh, one way to look for evidence of your tree being treated is to see these little pigtails that are caused by the drill. You'll see these gathered around the injection sites, and we do usually tag most of our trees with uh, something along these lines. And there you have it. That is how Rainbow protects your ash tree from emerald ash borer. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and take care. <laughs>